Sean was um, born on March 11th of 2010. He's 13 months old. Um, and Sean was actually born with albinism, which is an um, inherited genetic uh, condition, which results in um, limited melanin pigment in the skin, hair, and the eyes. The major thing I think that we, we noticed was there just wasn't really an engagement, um, a lack of direct eye contact um, from a young age. And I think it was one thing right at birth, but as he started getting a little bit older, as we got closer to that four month time point when he was actually diagnosed, um, that's when we really noticed that something may not have been right. As a parent, that's the whole crux of the issue, right, is the fear of the unknown. And so you get this diagnosis and you just don't really have any sense as to what this means in the long term. It's interesting in just the year or so since he's been diagnosed, what a different perspective we have on it now. But we just weren't aware of any other children or adults. As we become more included and more aware, the community of folks who live with low vision or blindness, I think we have so much more hope for Sean. But in the beginning, it was just a scary diagnosis because you didn't know what you didn't know. On paper, Lighthouse Early Intervention is here to work with Sean, right? And yet, I feel like I've benefited tremendously. There's a tremendous number of people that have you know, visual loss, and it's, it, maybe we didn't realize that until we had Sean and we found out about Sean's condition. But now that we've, and we're so much more educated and we've met a lot of other families, you really do, it's comforting to know that you're not alone. But also it's scary in that there's a tremendous amount of people that would be without support and services if, um, if, there, if you know, funding didn't continue. Just in that five, six month period since we've been working with Lighthouse, I mean, just, just to see Sean's level of engagement and how much more dramatically engaged he is with, with us and, and other people around um, is, is really quite comforting and it, and it gives us a lot of excitement as far as you know, where Sean will be in the future.